Yeah, and there is. <laughs> oh, wait, don't go nowhere, you trampy Powerpuff girl. Stand right here so I can roast you after that. Come the over here, you walking UTI. Sit the back down, you scrapped Austin Powers villain. Your bob cut is a Robert. Go into the bathroom and wipe the lipstick off your teeth. Go! I'm tired of looking at it. Go! Stir your drink all you want to, Edna from The Incredibles. Go! You just love being slut shamed. I'm sorry your father didn't love you, but that's not my fault. These people pay for a show, and just because he didn't touch you as much as you wanted doesn't mean you gotta touch them the way he didn't. Go pee and find someone funnier. You still just gonna stand there? I just smacked you down like 12 times. <laughs> you are like, <laughs> I wish the World Trade Center was built out of your guilt, because that <laughs> would have never fallen. <laughs> would have stood tall after two planes hit it. That's how you know she's been. <laughs> she could take it. <laughs> I just got a 30 minute light, baby. I got 30 more to go. I can do this for 30 minutes or you can go. I'll see you later. I'll see you at the methadone clinic. <laughs> what did I do? Oh my God, you're so cute. Can I touch your pee pee? No, but you know what you can touch? A job application. Wow, a live action Minecraft movie. It's gonna be filming in New Zealand. That's pretty crazy. They better be casting him. No CGI, we want practical effects. Don't listen to the naysayers. Golly, your forehead is fertile ground for a pimple colony. I know for a fact you're a Cetaphil super fan. Wow, are you in Paris? I can see the entire Eiffel Tower being <laughs> I didn't even- Dude, I didn't even notice that. Dude, Twitter out here taking souls, bro. Chill out. That is threatening language. Peace, love, and prosperity, plus gains. Look at my gains, everybody. I got crazy gains. Bro, built like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> no. Nah, bro. No, this is this is evil. <laughs> this is <laughs> wrong. You are so wrong for this. We really shouldn't be making fun of this pokey this man finding love. He found love. Anyone know how to remove this thing? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, all you need to do is pay. You can insert, swipe, or tap. And once you do that, you're golden. You win, and you won't have to walk around with broke people decoration. Fact. God has never made a single drop of alcohol. The earth has never produced a single drop of alcohol. 100% of wine and alcohol is manufactured by fallen men. Nothing good ever comes out of alcohol. Nothing? I beg to differ. I've had a good time drunk, but that's besides the point. You do realize that Jesus turned water into wine though, right? Source the Bible, a book that you clearly didn't read. Why would he want a bunch of drug addicts and thieves living next to him? Whoa, why would you assume poor people and drug addicts are thieves? Wait a minute, don't you train with a guy that can't even piss clean to support his livelihood? Because I grew up poor and seen it firsthand, being poor in America is a choice. So why did your parents choose to be poor? I will always love you. <laughs> That's Whitney, babe. Imagine not knowing that Dolly wrote, sang, and released I Will Always Love You first, and Whitney Houston's version was just a cover. Do your research, babe. And by the way, that's. Ooh, double whammy. Incorrect facts plus bad grammar? Pack it up. Gotta go. Uninstall the app. Delete the account. You can't be on Twitter anymore, man. You lost. Having a boyfriend is deadass like having a stupid son. Uh-huh. Is that right? You know, having a girlfriend is like having a temperamental house cat with an online shopping and wine addiction. Hey, yo, I think you got her, bro. Damn. All right, somebody did not let that slide. Call out post to NASA. Why aren't you exploring the ocean? It's literally right underneath us. You can send a robot a million miles into space looking for aliens, but not into the giant void that takes up the majority of the Earth we live on? Please, I am scared. Hey, Einstein. Which part of National Aeronautics and Space Administration has you confused? I always found the assertion that we aren't exploring the ocean funny to me, because we actively are. The fact that we are so sure of how much we don't know what's underneath our feet is evidence of our research. But yeah, sure, that's what NASA is for. Aliens, that's what we're doing. We're sending multi-billion dollar pieces of specialized equipment into geostationary orbit to look for green men on Mars. At the risk of sounding like an ignorant fool, for I am ignorant to this as I have done no research, so why are you speaking? But to me, I feel like once you've had your puberty, once girls can menstruate and boys can ejaculate, 
you should be safe to procreate if you're perfectly healthy, even if logically that is completely the wrong time to do it. I mean, isn't it nature's way of saying you're ready to procreate? So why would nature say it's ready if it isn't? Why would nature give you a period if you weren't ready to procreate? I don't know, Jim. You came out the womb with legs. Why didn't you walk out the hospital? Teen pregnancy is such a weird hill to die on. I don't understand why people go out of their way to fight so hard to try and justify that behavior. It's not good for any of the parties involved. And don't even get me started on the statement, it's nature saying you're ready. It's so weird because there's plenty of children who start puberty before they're even 10. Men and women are different and therefore cannot be equal. This is so eloquent. It's not even words. You got bodied by simple arithmetic. There are no letters here. There are no words here. There's no diction to be found. And you got folded. If <clears throat> is just sexuality, then burying them all is just gardening. Based, but I hate to break it to you, this guy's named Ted Nugent. And he has a history of inappropriate relationships with underage girls, which include claims of having engaged in intercourse, becoming the legal guardian of a minor because he couldn't legally marry her, and writing a song about wanting to have sex with a 13-year-old. Regardless of how you feel about Twitter or X, uh, Community Notes has to be the best feature applied in the past, what, seven months. It is the epitome of murdered by words, for sure, and has quickly become my favorite part of Twitter. Who the fuck goes out to eat to celebrate a dead person's birthday? That shit is corny. People who were loved. I genuinely believe that people online argue for the sake of arguing. I doubt that there's any humans out there who genuinely share this opinion. I just think it's somebody online who knows that they aren't loved, who knows that they won't be remembered, who's desperately looking for a reason to justify hating on other people's happiness. Hmm, what is stronger, my urge to make a joke or my desire to not be canceled? Hey, yo, buddy, uh, you have two followers. Crusades fetishizer, pronouns Deus Volt. I don't think you're going to be canceled. I think your feigning fear of being canceled is performative. I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as cancellation. I've always found these tweets funny. The, oh, if I tell this joke, I'll be canceled. It consistently makes me laugh. It's the most bitch made shit on the planet to be like, oh, if I tell this joke, people might hate me. Tell the joke, stand behind it. If people dislike it, stand behind your joke. Don't be a bitch. If people like it, you have no problems. Tell the joke, bro. Be bold. My man, I have tons of female friends I don't pursue sleeping with. Like, they're just cool people, not leads for my next hookup. So, you're the obligatory nice guy, huh? <laughs> I hope you find perpetual friend zone hell enjoyable. Tell you what, I'll sit here and enjoy having good, well-rounded friendships with both genders, and you can wither away alone and with no one to care but the people you share misery with. You're a true culinarian? How many years of experience did it take you to figure out how to fry a fucking hot dog? Mmm. I've been a chef for 13 years now, and a writer for six. It took me a few minutes to learn how to properly fry a hot dog, then another six years or so before I got off my high horse, stopped judging people, and realized that even simple, trashy foods have a place in the culinary landscape, and a very delicious place it is indeed. Looks like you still may have a few years of growing to do before you arrive there. Food is about making people happy, not about making yourself feel superior. It's really crazy how people get snobby about food without owning a restaurant, without publishing a cookbook, yet they'll have an opinion about what other people eat and how other people prepare food. In my opinion, it's just an excuse to feel better than somebody else. And a pathetic excuse at that, because at the end of the day, you're in an echo chamber, my man. You're the only one saying any of this stuff. Because while you're over here making arguments about how fried food isn't complex and isn't high class, the rest of us are enjoying mozzarella sticks. Dude, there should definitely be a skateboarding match between Darby Allen and Cora Jade. Uh, excuse me, skating is a huge part of my life and not a fake character for TV. Bro, you got me fucked up. Being a good person with no abuse allegations against me is a huge part of my life and not just a character I play on TV. Nobody ever want to talk to me about books. I like books. The fuck? I be reading. Yet you can't speak proper English. You expect me to believe you've ever picked up a book? <laughs> You understood what I said, didn't you? Language is used to communicate. Grammar is socially constructed. It does not communicate my intelligence, nor does it effectively display my ability to comprehend books. Dude, grammar police, like actual grammar police. Are you really out here trying to rate somebody's Facebook post? Who knew that bad diction on a Facebook post is indicative of someone's literacy? I guess the only way to make sure that other people know that you're intelligent is by making sure that every post on Facebook and Twitter is in 12 point font and Times New Roman. Oh, and you better not forget your Chicago style citations, otherwise people might think that you're a certified spastic. Ayo, I'ma keep it a buck. 
You're 20 years old, bro. Eat the fucking pizza crust. YouTuber Mr. Beast promotes his role in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem on Instagram, crossing the SAG after a picket line during the actor strike. Completely false. This is a contract I signed pre-strike and was legally obligated to promote. This falls under the exceptions they have outlined. Regardless, to make my support clear, I'll make a donation later tonight. The actors for the new Blue Beetle movie got the same backlash for supposedly breaking the picket line for promoting their movie. They have to do it. It's part of the contract to promote the film, especially if you're a part of it. You would have known this if you performed one Google search. You have a supercomputer in your pocket, my man. Use it! What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you like the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. Go ahead and check out the community tab because there's another content poll for next week. So if you want to put in your two cents, if you want to have control over the future, go ahead and take a look at that poll and vote on the video that you want to see. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to toasty comfy ghosty ironic pfp mike my zoom dams pool sleepy dragon ducky aiden loves aileris power lover sherry morrison tron destroy 23 fifth chivalry din corda co connor purvis s16 squish rare days mr bean my golden experience james tucker bmx 30 cinnamon sticks scott the fake musician buckethead samantha bellhart zach f Bloody Hunter, Dunder Nas Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.